Come on home. Oh, this is the Cecilia Report and I'm Cecilia and today we are going to have a nice life lesson chat about decisions. Story time. So as I'm sure you know, I go to Clarion University. But you may not know that my little sister Natalie graduated from high school last year and she was also going to go to the Clarion University. Now, Natalie is a very musical person. She plays a bunch of instruments. They kind of all look like guitars if I'm going to be honest with you. So we all thought a great idea for introverted Natalie to get plugged in on campus would be to join the marching band. Then one day, mom asked me, Now understand that I already was taking a bunch of credits, have two jobs, work in a research lab, and do this. But there was only one thing that I could think of. Even though I literally could not play an instrument at all, nothing was gonna stop me from joining the Black Parade. So I signed up for Marching Band. Now you don't just start when school starts, you practice like the whole week before. It's called band camp. I woke up bright and early the day marching band camp started. I even wore my MCR necklace. Shout out to Kira for buying me that for my birthday. I love it, thanks. However, it was only about two hours in when I realized I have made a huge mistake. Okay, so not to offend anyone, but I didn't really know that marching bands like played songs. I thought they all just played the do 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 do. So they hand us this sheet music, and the most complicated thing I've ever played on the piano looks like this. And then they gave me this. I had also envisioned myself playing something quiet and repetitive. Like when I was thinking about what instrument they might give me, I was literally thinking about Mr. Beans in the 2012 Olympic opening ceremony hitting that one note over and over again. But you know what they gave me? A gong! <laughs> Gongs are really cool and all, but they're also really, really loud! So the whole world knows when I'm off because I can't keep a beat. I had no idea, absolutely no clue, that just hitting something over and over again could take so much practice and it could be so hard to do. I thought marching band would be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it was actually difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. And let me tell you, I got one good look at that practice schedule and the performance schedule. I thought I could do it all, but I just had stretched myself far too thin this time. Something had to go. Right there with the gong mallet in my hand, I realized that I could not in fact do it all. And that at the end of the day, my GPA was more important than marching band. I nope right out of there and dropped the class. <laughs> I'm sorry I failed you, Gerard Way. So that's the story of how I was in marching band for 36 hours and how it's all MCR's fault. <laughs> now I have nothing against the wonderful people that I met at band camp. I re met some really musically gifted kids who are going to make Clarion University really proud. I just decided it was just all too much for me and I'll stick to science. So in conclusion, sometimes there are things that people really love and enjoy, but they might not be for you. It's okay to drop the class and you can still appreciate how much you love music and all the time and effort that goes into marching band from afar. Well, this is the Cecilia Report and I'm Cecilia. <laughs> Goodbye.